come and I see him go, still I remain One of the illest to ever step up in this game But now I see that some of y'all want a piece of me So it's time for me to step up from behind the scenes You can't test my work great, it's time to make weight Imitate a speech, step aside, it's time for payday What's going on people, it's your boy Brass Tax and this bitch, you already know You already know So look at this shit right here, I got my coffee you know shit about to hit the fan when I got my coffee. This isn't an unboxing because it's pointless, right? It's such a little thing here. Uh, but I wanted to talk to you about this. I got this earlier on today. So here's what this is, yeah? It's a HDMI splitter. It's almost like, yeah, it's a HDMI switch, right? So three inputs, one output. But here's the kicker. This is HDR compatible in this bitch which is a good thing, which is a new thing, which is what we need. I've got four HDMI inputs on my TV. I think most TVs have it, some even have three. I know last year's models had three, uh, some of the LGs. Was it last year's or the year, year before? But yeah, some of you guys got three inputs and I'm telling you, look at this bitch. Just look at it. I've got a shit ton of things connected to my television. Now, I'm only gonna keep adding things to my TV, right? and there are plenty of HDMI uh, switches you can get, splitters, but in the age of HDR and 4K, not everything is compatible. So have a look. Uh, I don't even know how you pronounce this shit. Is it Legawo? Yeah? So you can see the model number here and everything. HDR, big bold writing right here. So you know it's designed for that bitch. If you have a look here, you got the on and off switch and everything, what have you. Yeah, because it's powered, right? So... Uh, I guess there's a little fan coming, little fans on the side. So you've got three inputs, one output, and obviously um, you've got to plug this in. For us UK people, we'll need, a, we'll need a universal adapter because look at this shit. It's around £53 on Amazon. It's not cheap. You have one with five inputs, which is around £63. But HDR compliant, you're going to have to spend a little extra anyway. You could have your PlayStation being plugged in directly in one, and you can have the VR in the other. Right, so all you have to do is just really switch one wire. So you can do it that way as well. Does it work? Yes, it works very well. Everything works fine. I've not experienced any problems. HDR works great. PlayStation Pro, there's a little bit of troubleshooting. What you gotta do with that is you have to set your display settings to 2160. Okay, don't do it on auto because that's gonna create a lot of problems. But yeah, otherwise everything works great. And this little remote con well, this this is the most shittiest remote control I've ever seen. I keep it real with you. Look how shitty this shit is. God damn. But it gets the job done. There's no finesse in this bitch. It's just there to do what it needs to do, right? So you kind of want to have this IR, right? So you kind of want to have this in sight a little. But yes, it does the job. It does the job really well. One thing that bothers me about HDMI splitters is that not a lot of people notice, but I notice the quality degradation, right? There is very slight quality degradation, and that's a big no-no for me. But with this, I didn't notice it. I keep it real with you. I did not notice it. So maybe what you'd want to do with something like this is, if you have a dedicated 4K player, or let's say the Xbox One, you'd have, you'd, you wouldn't want to put this through this anyway. But if you've got other media players, other games consoles, uh, then you'd want to put like two or three in one. Do you know what I mean? Just keep, just perhaps keep the the 4K player separate so you're not losing anything at all. Although I couldn't notice anything really, you guys might. But this is the one people, they're not gonna release TVs with six HDMI inputs, do you know what I mean? It's not gonna happen. So we're gonna have to get some of these. And obviously, if you really wanna future-proof it, you'd probably wanna go spend an extra 15 pounds, go for the 65 pound one with the five inputs in this bitch. God damn. HDR pass-through, no problems at all. I highly recommend this actually, I really do. I haven't tried any others, but this was really, really simple. Here's another look at it. Look, so you get the model number and everything. Okay guys, hit the like button if you like this. Definitely subscribe and I'll catch you guys soon. I see him come and I see him go, still I remain One of the illest to ever step up in this game But now I see that some of y'all want a piece of me So it's time for me to step up from behind the scenes You can't test my work great, it's time to make weight